think the other day I read something in the Word, John's Gospel, I forget the exact place it was to, but basically, um, oh yeah, it's basically that it's the feeding of the 5,000 or the 4,000, one of the two, and one of the disciples say, Lord, you know, and Jesus says to them, you feed them, he says, Lord, we can't do that, it's more than half a year's wages or a year's wages, it's impossible. It's something they just could not do. It seemed unfathomable. And then somebody comes up and says, look, I've got a lad here who's got a few fishes and a bit of bread. And the Lord takes those simple things and feeds the whole multitude of people. Now, what I'm trying to get at here is the disciples thought they'll have to have a year's wages to be able to do this. They thought the Lord was saying, you know, you feed them. You, you're going to have to somehow get, I don't know how many thousands of pounds, maybe a hundred thousand pounds to feed all these people. But the Lord was gracious and he um, used the things they had at hand to achieve a miracle. Now, where am I coming to on this? You know the kind of things the Lord wants you to do. In fact, we all do. We know that somehow we should be a witness for him. And you say, Lord, I'm just no good. I'm shy. I'm no good at talking to people or whatever it might be. And yet you want to do that. And do you know what? The Lord says to you, what have you got? What's in your hand? For Moses, his excuse, well, I can't talk. I'm no good. I can't do this. I, I'm not I'm slow of speech, he said. And the Lord said, what's in your hand? He says, well, I got a stick. He said, throw it on the floor. And it did. It turned into a snake. And do you know what? The Lord used that stick, that, that staff, to do many, many miracles in Egypt. And God said, look, you do the miracles with that stick. I'll call somebody along to help you. Your brother Aaron or Aaron. So if there's anything in your life you feel... It, you want to do for the Lord or you feel you should do for the Lord and you think I'm just I just it's, I can't do it Lord it's just I'm just no good then the Lord would say to you and I encourage you to do, to look into your own heart he say to you look what have you got what have you got to offer me whatever small it is what have you got and you might say well I can't walk I, I, I'm in a wheelchair for example I can't do this I can't do that what can you give me what have you got, says the Lord? Well, I can do that. I'm good at typing. Or I'm good at sort of computer stuff. The Lord says, okay, I'm going to use that. And the amazing thing is he will use that um, for his glory. And you will be much encouraged. So the question I give to you, whatever it is in life that you want to do for the Lord, you want to be more for the Lord, you want to be more than you are now, and you feel you've got nothing to give, nothing, no ability, no strength, then look in your life and say, well, what have I got? That everybody has got something in their life, some ability, some gift, something that they can do that the Lord say, okay, it may not be much, but you know what? I'm going to use those objects in your life, those abilities in your life to achieve wonderful things for me and you will be greatly encouraged. So I, I hope that helps you. It really encouraged me when I read it the other day.